Namaste. Namaste. My name is Marta Weinstock and this is Robin Penny. She's um, going to be here with me today as we lead you through uh, a 45-minute um, advanced practice and really with a focus around opening our heart and embracing life and embracing love um, and bringing more love and life into our life. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. Let's start in child's pose. And so in child's pose, the hips rest heavier to the heels. Just allow your, your body to rest onto the mat. And take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And know that at any time you can always rest in child's pose throughout your entire practice. If you feel like you need a rest, you can come to child's pose. Okay, let's come up onto hands and knees and then transition right into downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. And in your downward facing dog, the heels stretch down to the floor. And it's really about lengthening the spine, right? Relaxing the head. Okay, slowly, let's take the right leg high. Reach up through the right toes. Take a breath. Bend the upper knee. Roll the right hip open. Uh, now, a full inhale here. You want to make sure that you start to cultivate Ujjayi Pranayama. A deep internal breath. And then square the hip, step the right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Bring the left knee down to the mat. Good. Now turn the right toes out in angle so it goes out towards the right corner of the mat. And let's roll under the outer edge of the right foot. You can shift forward and down onto your elbows. Good. And then find this place where you can just relax into your hips and take a few deep uh, breaths into the right hip. Excellent. And so this is really about um, integrating the mind, the body, and the breath, the beginning part of our practice, right? So just allow your body to settle and allow your mind to settle wherever you've been in your day, whether you're beginning your day or whether this is at the end of your day. Just taking the time to be on your mat is the most important part of our day. Very sacred. Okay, slowly coming up onto your hands. Let's plant the right foot. So the right foot goes flat, and the right toe stay turned out. Bring the, the left hand to the center of your mat, and start to bring your right hand up to your right thigh. So you turn towards the right. Now, take a breath, lengthen the spine. Let's bend the left knee and reach the right hand back and catch the top of the left foot and start to draw the foot in towards your body. Mm -hmm. Breathe here for three. You can turn your gaze. Gorgeous. Breathing. Two. Mm -hmm. And just feeling your body. Feel the release into the quadriceps. And then gently let go of the left foot. And let's come center. Downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. And it's nice in your downward facing dog just to, again, come into length through the back line of the body. If the hamstrings are tight today, you can bend your knees and just kind of give yourself a little bit of um, release through the sit bones and through the hips. And then slowly straightening the legs. Let's send the left leg high now. Breath in. And then exhale, step left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. A big step forward. Bring the right knee down to the mat. Turn the left toes out. And let's roll under the outer edge of the left foot. Shift forward and down onto your elbows and slowly just find the breath. So the most important part, again, in the beginning of our practice is to build a relationship with breath. You're inhaling, you're exhaling, finding a steady rhythm, kind of like an ocean, right? The ocean wave comes in, the ocean wave releases back out into the ocean. Good. Take another breath. Good to smile here and just relax any tension in the face, the teeth, the jaw, the tongue. And letting the left knee roll out to the left. Now, slowly come back up onto your hands. Plant the left foot. The left foot stays turned out. Right hand towards the center of the mat. And then left hand to your left thigh. Let's look over your left shoulder and bend your right knee and reach back and catch the right foot with the left hand and draw the heel in towards the buttock. 
Now turning your gaze and just finding the, the release in your quadriceps, right? A deep inhale into the, left, the right quadriceps and exhale. And then gently release. Let's step back into Downward Facing Dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. And today, right, as we're here opening the heart, embracing life, let's set an intention for that in our practice and, and even for the, for the day, right? Whether, again, the beginning of the day, the end of the day, just finding that space to embrace life the present moment as it is here. All right, now, slowly let's step the left foot forward between your hands and step the right foot forward between your hands and then slowly relax the head down and we'll come into a deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Good, and just allowing the body to relax. Now, Bring your hands to your hips and roll the elbows up towards the sky. Roll your shoulders up to the sky and find the press down through the feet to then lengthen and come all the way up to standing, inhaling. Ooh, inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. And then bring the hands to the heart center and pause. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. Let's flow. Sori Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Reach. Palms touch. And then fold forward. Exhale. Gorgeous. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Step or jump back. High push up. Flow through your Chaturanga. Low push up. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Very nice. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in, think about lengthening the spine, and breathe out. Now, a very deep breath in, and lift the navel in and up so you find a strong connection to core. On your exhale, bend your knees, look forward, either walk or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, a strong Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep high, reach the arms out, reach up, eyes to your thumbs, and then fold forward, exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or jump high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Stretch the breath in the body. Inhale, and remember to smile. Exhale. Now, one more. Take a very deep breath in. Kind of stretch the inner body with the breath. On your exhale, bend your knees. Look forward, walk or jump. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, a deep Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep high, reach the arms out, reach up, eyes to your thumbs. And then fold forward, exhale. Good, feel the breath. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or jump, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Now, a deep breath right from the center of the body. On your exhale, bend your knees, look forward, walk or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, nose to knee. Good. Now this time, let's bend the knees, drop your hips back, and come to chair pose with Katasana. Inhale the arms high. Weight shifts back into the heels. Take a breath, and then fold forward. Exhale. The most important part is the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. High push-up, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's flow, warriors. Inhale, right heel reaches up. Oops, Exhale, step, right foot forward, left heel flat. Inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana, one. Come all the way up. Hands to the heart center, and let's open to Virabhadrasana, two. So we're opening a little dancing warrior. Flip the right palm, inhale, reverse the warrior up and back. 
exhale and flow, high push up to the mat, all the way down, low push up, inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart, exhale, downward facing dog, gorgeous, inhale the left heel high, exhale, step left foot forward, right heel flat, inhale, rise up, Virabhasana 1, exhale, let's open, Virabhasana 2, with the left palm, inhale, reversing the warrior. Good, now to the mat. Exhale, let's flow. High push-up. Move with breath. Low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog and pause in the upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Good, breath in. Very nice. And breath out. And just feel the body breathing. Inhale. Feel the energy through the heart, through the arms. Exhale. Stimulate a little pranavayu through the arms. Okay, one more. Deep breath in. On your exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Walk or jump. Feet to hands. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Now, bend your knees. Drop your hips. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale the arms high. Good, and then flow forward, exhale, the same flowing warrior, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step or jump back, high push up, low push up, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, right heel reaches up, exhale, step right foot forward, left heel flat, inhale, rise up, Virabhasana 1, Gorgeous. Open to your Drasana 2. Exhale. Flip the right palm. Inhale. Reverse the warrior. Good. To the mat. Flow. High push up. Moving with breath. Low push up. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Left heel reaches up. Exhale, step left foot forward, right heel flat. Inhale, rise up, Virabhasana 1. Exhale, open to Virabhasana 2. Flip the left palm, inhale, reverse the warrior. Gorgeous, flow, high push up. Move with breath, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now breathe, breathe in. And just notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice if, if uh, you can feel the, the openness of the body. Exhale. Right? Our yoga practice really opens our hearts, it opens our minds, and it changes the physical texture of our bodies. Okay, now, a deep breath in, a long exhale. Do a little work to open the heart. Bring your knees down to the mat. And we're going to walk the arms forward and come into a puppy dog pose. Either the chin comes down to the mat or the forehead comes down to the mat. And just allow this to be a very um, deep uh, heart opener. Take a breath in and slow down the breath. Exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. Slowly pull yourself forward and down onto your elbows. Mm -hmm. Let's curl the right toes under, curl the left toes under. We're going to lift the body up and come to your dolphin plank. Nice strong core here. Five, breathe. Four, mm -hmm. breathe. Three, just stimulating the energy back through the legs, right? Buttocks are tucking just gently towards the heels. Beautiful. Hips come down, pelvis comes down to the mat, untuck the toes, a baby sphinx pose here. Inhale, lifting the chest. Good, let's take a moment of rest. Draw the hands in towards the center, forehead down towards your head, uh, head down towards your hands and breathe in, relaxing the lower back, a breath out. Very nice. Now, coming up, hands underneath the shoulders. Let's press back into downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Lifting up. Now, inhale the right heel high. And then exhale, step right foot forward to your hands. Keep the back heel lifted this time. Let's come up into a Lana Asana, crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Hands come to your heart center. Now take a breath in. Exhale, let's twist the left elbow over your right thigh. Lift the chest forward. And then open the arms, right hand down to the floor or the block, inside or outside, left arm reaches up. We're just now just take a breath here. Feel the length of your spine. 
feel the energy of your own body. Make sure your neck feels like it's free, right? We don't want to have tension in the neck. And then gently release both hands down to the inside of your right foot. Spin your left heel down. Let's reach the left arm high and come into Parsval Konasana. Inhaling, reaching up. Now we're going to play here a little bit. So let's take a bind. Wrap your left arm back behind you. Catch your fingers or your strap, right? A strap is always good to have for practice. Lift the chest. Take a breath in. A breath out, so you just get to feel your bound Parsval Konasana. Now, we're going to play. You can stay here at any time, or let's look down to your right big toe. Very carefully, maybe one step, left foot forward to the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. Maybe now, two. Maybe two, <laughs> that's good. Now, wait into your left foot, slowly curl through your belly. Let the eyes be your, your focus, right? So you're focused on your drishti. And then start to lift up into your bird of paradise. So fun to play, right? And, and really to think of it like play, not as serious. And when you're ready, extend your right leg. And let's take just a few breaths here. Finding a little length in the spine. Shoulders are drawing back and down. Gorgeous, Robin. Take a breath in. Slowly bend the right knee, right foot comes down to the floor. We're going to step the left foot back into Parsval Konasana again. Bound Parsval Konasana, chest rolls open, a breath in, finish strong, and then release. High push-up, gorgeous. Let's flow now, low push-up, inhale, upward facing dog, feel the breath into the body. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we'll just take a breath in, a long deep exhale. All right, let the body settle. Inhale, the left leg reaches up. Exhale, step left foot forward to your hands. Now keep the back heel up again. Let's inhale, reach the arms high. Come into your Alana Asana, your crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale, let's twist the right elbow over the left thigh. Lifting the chest forward and through. Shoulders are sliding down the back towards the buttocks. Open the arms, right hand down to the floor or the block, left arm high. Really finding again this T with the arms. The shoulders are drawing back. The left arm is really stacking over the right arm and the spine is stretching forward towards the front of the room. Okay, take a breath in. Gorgeous, a breath out. Release both hands down on the inside of your left foot. Spin your right heel flat. Parsval Konasana. Inhale, the right arm reaches up. So we're steady here in our body. We're steady with our breath, always very present to, you know, the sounds around us, the, the inner sounds, the outer sounds. Let's take a bind. Wrap the right arm back behind you. Catch your fingers or your strap, right? And, and again, Finding these moments of play, of not so serious in our practice, right? Okay, gaze, right, breath. Ah. Let's look down to the left big toe. Now, very gracefully, stepping that right foot forward towards the front of the mat. Even if you take a few steps, allow it to be graceful. Okay, now, energy down through the right foot, curl through the abdominals, eyes are steady, and then slowly lift the left leg up, and we'll come right into Bird of Paradise. Gaze, right, drishti, making sure that we have that concentration, and then reach the left leg all the way up. Good, now breathe in here, engaging the legs, the standing leg you're pushing down. The left toes feel like they're reaching up to the stars. And then slowly bend the left knee, gently replace the left foot down to the floor. We're gonna step back with the right foot all the way into your Parsval Konasana. Right, just allow yourself to have time and presence with your body. Finish strong, lifting, lengthening, and release. Gorgeous, high push up. Move with your breath, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hmm. Now again, just a big breath in. If you need to open your mouth, you can always open your mouth and let the exhale out. Beautiful. Now, a deep inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees, look forward, either walk or jump feet to hands. Light as a feather. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold forward. Draw your nose down towards your knees. Now, 
Bend your knees. Drop your hips. Come into your chair pose. Utkatasana. Inhale. Right? Lots of light. Like pinkle, twinkle, pink twinkle light through your fingertips. Okay. A breath in. Woo. And then let's fold forward. Exhale. Now, inhale. Halfway lift. Let's take a crow, bakasana. Set your hands down. I love when butterflies fly through. <laughs> and the knees to the upper arms and the big toes together. Now curl from your abdominals, shifting the weight forward, eyes, right? Drishti. Three. Breathing. Two. Keep squeezing in towards the midline. And then if you can, step or jump back. High push up. Oh, yes, slow push up. I always make that sound. Inhale, <laughs> upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, inhale the right leg high. Let's reach up through the right toes. Exhale, step right foot forward. Left heel flat. Inhale, rise up, Virabhrasana one. Exhale, let's open, Virabhrasana two. Now, straighten your right leg. Hinge forward into your right fingertips. And Uhita Trikonasana, right hand down, left arm high. It's really important here to feel the feet in triangle, especially in your standing poses, that your energy is rooted and grounded through the feet. And you can actually feel the earth energy coming up through the body. And this, in this variation of triangle, it's, it's like we're a star, right? So we draw the earth energy up. And we're expanding the light like a star. Good. Now press through the feet. Inhale. Come back up. And let's land in warrior two. Warrior two. And just sit down in warrior two for a moment. Right knee is forward and out to the right. Flip the right palm. Inhale. Reversing the warrior up and back. Stretch. And then to the mat. Exhale. High push up. Let it flow. Low push up. Nice strong legs. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Lift your knees off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale, step, left foot forward, right heel flat. Inhale, rise up, Virabhrasana one. Exhale, open, Virabhrasana two. Now straighten your left leg, hinge forward into the left fingertips, Uhita Trikonasana, left hand down, right arm high. Grounding through the feet and drawing that energy, that earth energy up. Right? Earth energy, it's like the water of the earth and the soil of the earth and the green growing things of the earth. And then allowing that to, to transform through the body to be this energy of light, of bliss, of nirvana. Take a breath in. Beautiful. Now press down through the feet. Let's come back up, warrior two. Bend the left knee, land into a deep warrior two. Left knee moves out to the left. Hmm. Flip the left palm, inhale, reverse the warrior, up and back, stretch. And then to the mat, high push-up, flowing, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift the chest, knees are off the mat, right? Exhale, downward facing dog. It takes a lot of strength to move your hips and your legs through your practice, but it all comes from the center of the body, the core. Okay, now... Let's inhale the left leg high, reach up to the left toes. Exhale and step left foot forward to your hands. We're just going to turn the feet towards the long edge of the mat. Walk your hands towards the long edge of the mat. Parsarita Parottanasana A. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold forward. Hands go flat. This is also a preparation for headstand. And if you are skilled at headstand, tripod headstand, and you've worked with headstand with a teacher, you could start to feel this as a, as a practice of maybe mm, coming up a little bit more into your headstand. You don't even have to lift your legs. You could just even lift your heels in your headstand. But if you're practicing headstand, and only if you've worked with a teacher, then this is a perfect pose, a perfect place to come in and feel a little bit more strength in your practice. Now, we're going to try to come out of headstand. If you're up in headstand, take your legs wide. You've got to curl the hips under, right? Nice, strong core. And then the hips and the, the legs actually rotate. You come back down to the mat. Gorgeous, Robin. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your hips, elbows up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the heart forward as you come all the way up. Good. Just take a pause. Inhale. Exhale. 
Good, let's interlace the hands behind. And for this first one, bring your knuckles to the sacrum. And then let's take a moment to roll the shoulders up and really squeeze the elbows back in towards one another. Now, keeping this, then you straighten the arms. Keep the energy of the heart lifting, a breath in. Exhale, let's go forward. Wrap the arms over the back of the head. The head will relax, the arms will keep stretching forward. If, the, if it's difficult to hold your hands and really bind here, using a strap and having a little extra space on the strap will give you a deeper opening. Even if you're practiced with a bind, some days maybe use your strap. It's really nice to get a little uh, a variation in the shoulder opening, especially if we're working the energy of the heart. Okay, relaxing the head, relaxing the arms. Can you feel your breath? Connect to the flow of the energy, the life the life that's within you, right? Our lives are so short, so impermanent. Every day matters in our life. Good. Slowly release the hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift again. Now, let's turn the toes out and the heels in and gently bend the right knee and shift over into the right leg and just straighten the left leg and sit down a little bit deeper into the, to the right hip and take a breath. And then work through the center. Let's go to the other side. So the bending the left knee, straightening the right leg, and just feeling again the length through the inner groin, the inner leg. Good again. Back to the right side, just shifting down to the right side, lengthening out through the left. A breath in. And then down to the left side again. One more time. Whew. Just feeling breath, feeling the goodness of your practice, right? Come to center. Take a moment, plant your feet. Let's turn your toes in and your heels out. Bring your hands to your hips. Roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, come up to standing. Now, take a breath in and a long, steady breath out. Mm. Turning towards the back of your mat, the right foot turns forward. The left heel steps in, Parvottanasana. So coming a little shorter in your stance. So you just close the distance a little. Now reach your arms open like a T. And either take your opposite elbow or a downward facing namaste or a full upward namaste. Again, generating that energy of the heart. Allow the hands and the heart to connect. Lift the chest, take a breath in. Now, let's take a bow. Come down, heart, chin, and then eyes. Allow your, the inner edge of your right foot and the outer edge of your left foot to be your balance. Right? Those are where you're holding balance. Pressing the heels of the hands together, opening the chest. Good, a breath in, rolling the shoulders up and back. Gorgeous. Now, we're gonna come in the same way we came, came out we're going to come out of it the same way we came in to press down through the feet and slowly come up. Keep the hands. Turn towards the front of your mat. Your left foot turns forward. Your right foot turns in. Lift the chest. A breath in. Again, another bow. Heart comes forward. Chin comes forward. And then the eyes. Now the heels of the hands are squeezing in. The shoulders are drawing up and back. I'm feeling the inner edge of your left foot outer edge of your right foot. Good. Stimulating the energy of the arms. Take a breath in. Ooh, let's just release from here. Gently let the arms release down. Take a breath into the arms. And then step back into your high push-up. And then move through Chaturanga, low push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good. Exhale and downward facing dog. Ooh, a breath in and a long exhale. Now, we're going to keep moving right into some back bending work. Let's shift forward onto your hands and come forward to Palakasana plank and slow. Let's go slowly here. Five, going forward and down. Four, belly's in. Three, two, okay, then release all the way down to your mat. Rest your cheek to one side, rest your arms back. Take a long, deep breath in and a long exhale. Gorgeous. Now, make sure the body is relaxed. Let's come up into bow. Bend your knees. 
Dhanurasana. If you're working the heart opening, you want to take the inner edges of the feet, that's also a possibility, or the outer edges of the feet. Now, press down through the pubic bone. Let the shoulders lift up away from the floor. And remember, Janyarasana is all about leg strength. Its back bends are about leg strength. Inhale, lifting the toes up, letting the shoulders draw back. All right, now, a lot of strength in the legs. Let's breathe here for five. I'm going to pull you back just a little. Four. Good. Breathing. Three. Nice power through the legs. Two, and then gently release down. Gorgeous, a breath in, ah, and a long, deep breath out. Good. Now, come up onto your hands and your knees, and let's come into your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips, and bend your knees in your downward dog just to keep the length of your spine. Now. Practice a jump through. Sometimes if, you, if you'd if you like to get your blocks either side of your, your mat, on, uh, set your hands onto your blocks. Otherwise, you can just come through with cross legs. So take a breath in. On your exhales, practice a jump through, right? Feel the curling in of the core. And then slowly lay down all the way onto your mat. Okay, set the feet down, hip width distance. Let's bring the hands down by your legs. I know you're working hard, right, Robin. Right sun. Right sun. Okay, we're going to move into um, to, uh, bridge pose. Scoop through the pelvis. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Mm -hmm. Finding the length through the front body. Maybe you interlace the hands underneath. All right, now breath in. And a long exhale. Now, you can stay with bridge pose, or let's move into some wheels. Release the body all the way down to the mat. Let's reset the hands so the fingertips face the shoulders. Mm. And draw the elbows in so the shoulder blades can slide down the back. Come on to the crown of your head to start. Take a breath. And then we'll slowly move all the way up into wheel, Urdhva Dhanurasana, mm. upward facing bow. Gorgeous. So the, the chest is lifting forward. The legs are strong. Gorgeous. Three. You just want to stay so you can breathe, right? Like marinate in the pose a little. Two. And then slowly chin to chest. Let's roll the body down. And slowly moving into the, into the mat. Take a breath in. Good. And a long, deep breath out. All right, let's do two more. Are you ready? Two more. Okay, scoop through the pelvis. Inhale. Let's come up, bridge or wheel. And so good to feel this in your body and really to, to open to that experience of life, right? Our life is always changing. Every single day our life is changing. And sometimes we get stuck in routine. And so this practice of opening the heart, of really embracing life, is really about helping us to embrace change, not only physically but also mentally. Let's curl the chin to the chest. Let's roll the body down. Ah, feeling a deeper back bend. Take a breath in. Ah, how about a resting exhale? Just let it out. Okay, I think we could do one more. Here oh, yeah. we go. Let's set the hands, scoop the pelvis. Inhale, lifting up, breathing. Five, breathe. Four, really feeling the weight shift into the arms, into the hands. So beautiful. Three, two. Ah, and then slowly chin to chest, rolling the body all the way down to the floor. Now let's rest. Bottoms of feet together, knees open out wide to the side. Remember, during our backbend series, you can either modify and take down the intensity by just staying in bridge pose, or you could always amp it up and take a leg up and take another variation of a, of a wheel, right? So this is your practice. So it's really important, even as you practice at home, to have your own practice, right? I'm a guide. But you're listening to your body. You're using your intuition always. Okay, hug your knees into your chest. And let's wrap the arms over the knees and just feel the release into the lower back and into the hips. Take a breath. Ah, one of my favorite poses, right, is happy baby. Let's come up into happy baby. It's a really nice way to release the lower back, especially after a long day, even if you only did happy baby every single day, right, just to 
find that that inner bliss, the inner state of being. You know, we did this when we were probably a few months old. So, you know, coming back to that state of um, experience of even beginner's mind as we are moving through an advanced practice. Now, hug your knees back into your chest. Give them a nice strong squeeze. Because it's an advanced practice, we're going to take the legs up. We're going to move right into core. So legs all the way up. Hands back behind your head. Support your head with your hands. Good. Let's make sure the ankles are over the hips. The belly draws in, and you get a nice squeeze through the outer buttock towards the inner leg. Now, take a breath in. On your exhale, lift your chest up. Lift your shoulders up and pull the belly flatter and tighter down. Good. Inhale back. Nice and steady with the breath. Exhale and lift. Inhale back. Exhale and lift. Let's do one more like this. Inhale back. Exhale, lift and hold. Twist the right elbow towards your left knee and extend the right leg forward. Yes, breathing. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist the left elbow towards the right leg. Extend the left leg. Gorgeous. Inhale to center. Let's do another set of those. Exhale, twist and reach the legs. Inhale to center. Exhale, lift and twist and reach the legs. One more set. Inhale to center. Exhale, lift, twist, reach and extend. Inhale to center. Exhale, lift, twist, reach. Good. Inhale to center. Whew. Okay, bend your knees. Relax your head down. You did it. Ah, take a breath in and a long exhale. All right, let's stretch the legs out long. Reach your arms back over your head. If you feel like you could do another set of those, feel free to do another set. We're going to take a break for this moment. Take an inhale. Ah, long, deep breath out. Now, hands down by your hips. Let's send the legs up. And finding, you know, an inversion. So some of you may be ready for headstand, and you've, you're, you're well accomplished in headstand. Today we're going to take shoulder stand. I actually really like shoulder stand. So let's take the legs up and find a nice straight energy through the toes and through the legs. Eyes to your toes. Gorgeous. Breathe in and breathe out and then when you're ready start to take the legs back over the head and come into plow pose halasana breathe in and again breathe out this is a we're moving into the cool down stage of our practice which is really important just to again stay connected to your breath to feel the body as it's taking shape in new new poses Karnapidasana, knees down to your ears, round the spine. Good. Take a breath in and a long, deep breath out. Now, hands to the mat. Let's roll the spine down. Upper back comes down. Slowly, then the middle back peels down to the mat. Nice, strong legs. Squeeze the midline with the legs. And then rolling all the way down. Good. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, and take a breath in. Mm, and a long, deep breath out. And just feel the body release down into the earth, that very sacred earth energy. Matsyasana, the counter pose, fish pose, taking any variation that you feel comfortable with. We'll lengthen the legs and come up onto the elbows. Lift your chest up. Good. Breathe in. The top of the head may or may not touch. You might even lift the head. If the neck feels like it's straining to be in Matsyasana, the crown of the head can lift, right? So taking it with your own body, your practice. Inhale, and then slowly lift the chin to the chest and lay all the way flat onto your mat. Ah, just relax for a moment. A breath in and a long, deep breath out. Okay. Let's hug the knees into the body. We'll do a few rock and rolls just up and back. This is a great way to massage your spine and to really release any tension in the lower back or the shoulders. Just letting it move, right? Let your body move. 
This should be playful, right? Our practice is, that's how we bring more life and more love and more energy to our life, right? It's, it's the law of attraction. When we bring that into our practice and we bring it into our life, right? Not taking ourselves so seriously and really having fun. Okay, now, let's come up and we're going to take double pigeon. So if you pr prefer uh, half pigeon, you can take half pigeon. Let's start by bringing the left ankle on the the bottom and then take the right leg all the way over on top. Make sure the ankles are in strong dorsiflexion so you protect your knees. Bring your hands back by your seat. Let's lift the hips up and find the front of your sit bones so you kind of wiggle down into the front of the sit bones. Lifting the chest and this may be where you stay, right? Just releasing the hips. You know it's so great to do a double pigeon after a really nice strong practice. So take a breath. Let's lift the heart, lift the mind. And then exhale, you can go forward and shift your weight forward, maybe onto your elbows. Again, it's always nice to have a block so that you can put your forehead on a block and maybe even two fists, right? So you let the head hang and the spine release. Now, relax the tongue, relax the jaw, relax the lips. And just allow your breath to move into your hips. Right, to feel the release in the hips. Just a few breaths. You can take a breath in through your nose and open your mouth if you feel like you really need to clear out the energy. Good. Now, slowly sitting up. Hmm. Bring your hands back behind you. Now, this is advanced. See if you can take your legs to the other side, other place without using your hands. That's really advanced. We'll work on that, don't worry. Make sure your sit bones are grounded again, ankles in dorsiflexion. Inhale, lift the chest up, heart lifts, mind lifts, and then flow forward, exhale. Smiling throughout your practice, right? Such a beautiful way to keep remembering the lightness of life, right? Not, again, taking our life too seriously. We're only renting these bodies, right? So we're taking all of our life and love and moving it through our physical body and allowing our bodies to have freedom and our minds. Our minds have freedom. Good. Now, maybe you open your mouth again and you take a breath in through the nose and you open the mouth and you just exhale. Let it go. Right. Try to let go of anything you're holding on to, anything that's not serving you. You let go. Mm. And slowly sitting up. Good. Lengthen both legs forward. We'll take two more poses here. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, reaching the arms high, finding an urdva hastasana with the upper body. And now exhale, let's flow forward over the legs. You can bend your knees. You can separate your legs. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, go a little deeper into your pose, wherever you feel like you could release the shoulders, release the neck, find the length through the body, smile. Can you feel your body? as though it were just this energy body. And so less about the muscular strength of the body, more about that inner energy vibration of the body, especially in this pose. Inhale, slowly sitting up. Now, either reverse tabletop, bending your knees, walking your feet back, or a full Purvottanasana, your choice. We're going to take reverse tabletop for today. Push down through the hands and down through the feet. Inhale, lift the hips. This is the counter pose for all the sitting that we do. Chin can stay to the chest or you can let your head drop back. Okay, now push into your feet and push into your hands, lifting the heart up. Feel the energy still through the arms and across the front of the chest. A breath in. And then slowly, hips lower down to the mat. Good. Now, scooch forward on your mat. And we're going to lo lower down to the floor very slowly here. So relaxing the shoulders and putting all the energy to the center of the body. Let's roll down. Five, four, keep rolling down. Three, shoulders relaxed. Two, smoothing out the spine. Good. Now, hold there. 
Let's extend the left leg and hug the right knee into the chest. <clears throat> and just take a breath here. And take one last pose, spinal twist. Reach the right arm out to the right side. And with your left hand, guide the right knee across the body. Keeping the right shoulder down onto the mat, right? So you find this release of the right shoulder and then the twist of the spine. Really nice way to end practice. And come back to center. Good. Let's switch legs. Hug the left knee in. Extend the right leg. Again, just taking a moment to pause. The, the pause is really important in our practice. Left arm opens like a wing, and then the right knee goes across the body. Shoulder blades are rooted into the earth. Just allow the lower back to lengthen and twist. And a breath, releasing any tension from the lower back. Now, come back to center. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself one last final hug, right? Feeling the release of the lower back. And then slowly bring your feet down to the floor. Let's lengthen the legs and come into Shavasana. Open up the legs, let your toes relax. Make sure the shoulder blades are tucked under and the arms extend out. The head feels like it's supported in neutral. Good. Now, this is one of the most important poses in our practice. And so taking a few moments just to relax and let your body rest, feeling that internal bliss from our practice. Relax the tongue, the lips, the jaw. Relax the eyes. You're always welcome to take a longer shavasana and just pause here. Let's bend the knees and walk the feet in. And just start to roll to your right side. Very carefully, very gently. And then from your side, pressing up to your seat. And coming to sukhasana, a gentle cross-legged seated position. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Lengthen your spine. Now as we close our practice together, let's take a moment to dedicate our practice. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. And may all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. <clears throat> Namaste. Namaste.